everybody welcome back to my channel or if you're new here welcome to my channel my name is crystal or Chrissy and today's video actually I took a poll on Instagram and asked you guys if you wanted to see my lounge fly backpack collection and everybody pretty much said yes so that is what this video is going to be that's why I'm standing up that is why I look like this because you're not gonna see my face and I'm just going to jump right in because this video is probably going to be long. So let's just jump right in. So I'm going to start with the, I believe the first backpack that I got, which is this backpack. I could be wrong. Maybe it's not the first backpack that I got. And I am not sure where I got all these backpacks. Most of them I probably either purchased myself or got them in subscription boxes. I believe I got this one in a subscription box. So this one is a lounge fly bag. I will tell you which are lounge fly, which are not lounge fly. Um, I'm going to include all of my Disney bags. So this one says bold as a rose right up there. It has bell and then these are embroidered roses. On the back it has, oop, it has the lounge fly logo. And then on the inside has that. I don't know if I'm going to go in depth into the inside of every single bag. I feel like that's going to take forever. Um, we'll see how this goes. This was not my second bag, but this bag I did pick up on my own. This bag might be a little bit busy to see, but you can see Chip. You can see Bells upside down. Um, there's a stack of books here somewhere with Mrs. Potts and Chip. Um, it has side pockets, front zipper, pink car or gold hardware, pink. It has this beautiful pink lounge fly accent. Um, pink straps. I really loved this bag. This bag I had to buy off of a third party website because I really wanted to get my hands on it. So that is now in my collection. Um, uh, next, I will go on to this shelf here. I have the fruits. I got this, I think, either off of Box Lunch or off of um, Lounge or either box lunch or hot topic I'm not sure but you have your cherries your pineapples your tangerines or your oranges whichever um, it's just really classic and then your straps are shiny orange I love this for summertime I used this a lot last year you can see I even have a um, a Disney princess uh, lip balm holder um, this was one of my first bags as well. This was either my first or my second bag. Um, I loved this bag because it was black and it was classic and it had the four princesses, four of the princesses down here. You have Snow White, you have Belle, you have Cinderella, and you have Aurora down here. Just very classic. You have the castle up here. And then I believe the lounge fly symbol, yeah, it's over here. So very, very classic with your cream colored straps. Um, so next I will take it up to the child. I feel like everybody and their mother has this bag. Not really much to say about this bag because this bag is so well loved by everybody. You have your tan straps, um, his little, He's in his little buggy, his hand, little hands are off there, his ears hang off the side. Again, I'm not going to, if you want like an in-depth, like look at any of these. Um, oh my gosh. One of these bags has so many receipts in there. I probably should go through some of these bags and see what I have in them. Holy crap. Crap them all. Holy. Okay, next is one I haven't used, which is this one. I bought this, I wanted to buy this and bring this to Disney with me, and I didn't, I didn't bite the bullet, and I should have. It's actually a little bit larger in size than your average, um, your average backpack. 
my dog's itching her ear. Um, and it's canvas. It's not quite the size of a normal backpack, but it's a little bit larger than a mini backpack. And it has a strap down here. And if you look closely, it's like the balloons. And I just fell in love with this when I saw this. I wanted to see if they had it for sale in the parks is what I was waiting for. And they, they didn't. I did not see this for sale in the parks. So I waited till I got home and I bought it. So when I go to the parks later in the year, I will bring this with me. And it has blue canvas straps. So next, let's go up here. I have my um, Slytherin um, mini backpack. I love this so, so, so much. I can't wait to go to Universal and use this backpack. This is going to get so much love. This is a little bit small, so this is definitely for like a short day in the park. But I just love the look of this bag. I think it's so classic. And it actually fits quite a bit of stuff because um, it unsnaps. So um, thank you very much, Shelby Bibbidi Bruner, for gifting me this for my birthday. And I just love the way it looks on my shelf. My next backpack. You might recognize this from the four pack of pins that came out on Shop Disney's website. Um, these are the villains. So you have Ursula, you have Cruella, you have um, Maleficent, and you have the Evil Queen. Um, and then you have this front pocket here so you can put stuff and it snaps and then you have your handle here and then your zip here. I have not used this backpack yet. I don't know if I will use this backpack. I haven't had a purpose to use this yet. Maybe around Halloween time. Um, I picked this up when I was with Sh Sue from Bangers Bubbly. This was a really good steal when I ha we had box lunch uh, money. Um, some lunch money so I really love this bag. Next one is one that had gotten a lot of use for me. I actually have to restuff it so that it doesn't lose its shape. But Miko, my Mr. Miko, I love Miko so much. He's very fuzzy. Um, you can see his face kind of comes off of the, the backpack. And he has his little tail that dangles. He has his lounge fly symbol down here and he has his little paws. And actually his zippers are supposed to be up here because his zipper pulls are cookies or biscuits. And then there's biscuits on the back. So yeah, there is that. And on the same theme, we'll move over here. I recently was gifted Cheshire in my uh, Mad, was it, no, in my Be Our Guest Express box, and it says, we're all mad here, so that is very exciting, um, and then there's a little um, tag, it has pockets on the side, and again, um, the the eyebrows come up there so that's the second one I have with the tail and rounding off my tailed backpacks I have flower from Bambi um, so you can see it's tail down tail down here little paws um, this one does not have side pockets but it says he can call me a flower if he wants to on the back and one of the zipper pulls is a flower, and you can see ears and little hair. It's really, really cute. Haven't used Cheshire or flower yet. Um, not sure if I'll use flower just because of the type of fabric that it is. It's a very like suede type fabric, um, but I'm gonna for sure use Cheshire. Um, next with the bags that I have on this table right here, I recently got the Disney Cats backpack and it has, um, ears that poke out. So you have Figaro and Marie and 
who else is on there. Um, Cheshire and is Duchess on there? I don't know. I can't tell some of these kitties because they're kind of character-y. But anyways, they're all in like kind of like character-y form. They're like, uh, what, what's the word? Um, when you get your, when you get your, uh, character drawn at the fair, that's what they're kind of like, um, so it's super fun, um, and then it has black straps in the back, um, I really liked this one, I got this one because we recently got three new cats. So we're up to six cats. They also have a dog one and the dog ears are, are poked down. I debated getting that one as well, but I didn't like it as much. I didn't like the coloring. So I stuck with the cat one. Next, let's go to, I'm like winded, to my Mickey Mouse. This is like old fashioned Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse with um, uh, horseshoes and just being goofy and things like that, looking in the mirror. I really got it because I liked the style of the, um, straps. I think they're very cool. Um, this one I got off of Mercari, I believe. Mercari or Poshmark. This next one I got from a Facebook group, I believe. Um, there was like one left. This one's hard to find, I know that. I have the matching ears. Um, this one I think is still available, it's just really hard to find. I only have two sequin backpacks, um, and this is one of them. This is one of the sequin, um, lounge fly backpack with the bows. Has the Mickey ears. Um, I don't have very many like that. In fact, I only think I have two like that. And that is one of them, and the back is just black with the black straps. Um, and before, actually, we'll just keep going over here. I'll show you the next sequin one before I forget. This is the next sequin one that I have. It is the, um, like, red, white, and blue. Um, it's kind of dusty. How do you keep dust from the sequins? I used this one a lot last year. I really loved this one during the summertime. Um, and I got a lot of compliments on this one. So if you are able to scoop this one up and you like it, do it. This one. And the strap one is striped with red and white and one is blue and white with a star. The next one I think I got in either a Bibbidi box or a Magic at Your Door box. It is the Three Caballeros. Um, and then on the side is uh, pink and red with um, pockets and then pink and red straps. I really enjoy this bag. I brought this to Disney World with me when I just went in January. I have just like a plethora of bags down here. This one I also got in a Magic at Your Door or a um, Babydee box. This is one of my first bags as well. I should say a subscription box because it could have been another subscription service um, because for a while I was subscribed to more than just them two. Um, but this is the Evil Queen and she's looking fierce. I wore this one for a while um, around Halloween and I love this. I got a lot of compliments on it. Um, yeah, I'll probably switch back to it at some time, at some point. Um, just not right now. So I have two more up there, and then I have a few smaller ones. Um, so this is like a mini, mini backpack. <laughs> like this is, like this is a, um, on the smaller side of a mini backpack, but it is just so adorable. I got this off of Mercari or eBay or something like that, 
but I just loved the mix of the plaid and the black with the with the black Mickey head pull. I just loved the mix of it. And then the black straps. I just thought it was really classic. Um, so yeah, I just really, really enjoyed that bag. And then this one I had to have because I'm from New York. I love everything New York City. And I just felt like it was speaking to me. And every time I wear this, I get a lot of compliments as well. And then my newest ad, I went to Box Lunch today and used Box Lunch Cash or Lunch Money, whatever you call it. So the, the one that's been in my collection for a long time, that I've had for a very long time, is this one. Um, so this is Cinderella. This is a Cinderella blue. Um, I was actually looking for um, the stained glass Beauty and the Beast bag, but they didn't have it. They were all out, and they're all out on the website, so this was my second pick. Um, I really enjoy this bag, and there's only two left, so I went with it, and the bow's kind of wonky on it. It doesn't look wonky in, oh yeah, it does kind of look wonky in person. I gotta play with that bow in person, but, um, um, and then the zipper pull is Jacques and Gus Gus. Um, and then the back is these really pretty iridescent blue um, handles. So it's really pretty. Um, so that, those are all my mini backpacks. So now, my phone's going crazy. So now let's go on to other bags. So I, this is so dusty, oh my gosh. So then I have this little red, like, wristlet. Um, I'm not sure if or when I'd ever use this, but I think it's super adorable. Um, it's supposed to go, like, through your belt loop, I would guess, is what this is for. Um, it's just so adorable that I hate to even part with it. <laughs> so the red is gorgeous. It's super, super cute. It says Loungefly right here. It is a Loungefly product. I don't know. I think it's adorable. Um, I just, I don't really have a purpose for it to be honest with you. Um, ooh, and it just whacked me in the face. My next bag is a Danielle Nicole. I got this from my really good friend Sammy, my bestie Sammy. This is a Mulan inspired bag. I This is my only Danielle Nicole and I think it's gorgeous. Um, so I'm so happy to have this. I have not had a chance to wear this because, well, COVID. I don't, we don't go anywhere. <laughs> um, but it's it's gorgeous. Danielle Nicole bags are really gorgeous. So, um, yeah. So thank you, Sam. Ooh, I'm gonna fall. Jeez. I am just not into it today. My next bag. This is just a bag haul. Is this one. Make sure there's no dust on it. Is this one. And this is a lounge fly. Um, and this has all the villains on it. I have used this. And I have gotten compliments on this bag. This is really easy to dress up or dress down this bag because it's black. So from far away, like, it's... It's hard to tell what it is. And then let me grab the 
And then this is the bag I'm using right now. It's self-explanatory what it is, but it's a Thumper Coach bag. And it's just a tote that snaps shut. And it has these blue striped whatever those are. So yeah. Oh, and there's a bag over here. I almost forgot this bag. And I have this bag. <laughs> this is all over the place. And I have my um, mini backpack that my friend, my bestie Sammy, um, just gifted me. Um, my baby Yoda. This is actually my favorite baby Yoda backpack. Um, so yeah. Those, my friends, are all of my baby, baby Yoda. Those are all my backpacks. So the next one is an Olaf backpack. I really need to stuff these bags so that they don't aren't like frumpy. I was watching somebody yesterday on the, her live and she said that she keeps the stuffing from her backpacks and I need to start doing that because my bags are all frumpy and that's not cool. But this is an Olaf backpack. I actually got this from one of the mystery box subscriptions that I can't remember the name off the top of my head, but it's one of the ones that comes straight from the parks. Um, and it is sequins and it has white straps. I have not used this and it's because I don't want to get it dirty. The next one that I'm going to show you is this gorgeous bag. I am going to save this to use this for the summertime. It is see-through. I think this would be perfect to go to the beach or something like that. We go to the water park, but last year the water park wasn't open because of COVID. Um, I think this would be perfect to put your stuff in because obviously you're not going to ruin it. Um, it has sequin Mickey heads on it. And it has like iridescent um, zipper pulls. And then iridescent um, straps. So the next one I'm going to show you is one of my first bags as well. Probably one of my first three bags. And it is the couples bag. Um, I love this bag. I used this for a while and then I stopped because it's cream colored and I didn't want to get it dirty. But I love this bag. Um, I just love having all the couples on it. I think it's really, really unique and really classic. And then up here is the lounge fly symbol. And then the last one is one of my more recent um, uh, ads to my collection. I don't know what I was trying to say. But it's the um, Hocus Pocus bag. I got this from Magic at Your Door. Um, so yes, I'm really happy to have this in my collection for the Halloween season. Um, I love Hocus Pocus. It's one of my favorite movies. So this is a great add to my collection. So yeah. So let me put all these away. I'm going to count and see how many bags I have in total and I will be right back. Okay. So I forgot two bags. So I also have this orange bird flower and garden bag it's not a lounge fly bag but it is a mini backpack um i didn't get a chance to wear it when i was in epcot because i wore my three caballeros bag but i love this bag so much i cannot wait i have a orange bird thing is i didn't get a chance to wear it when i was in epcot this past time but i cannot wait to wear it this coming time because i have a orange bird spirit jersey coming so i'm going to for sure be rocking my orange bird backpack and this bag is a shoulder bag it's a lounge fly beauty and the beast um shoulder bag so i also have this and you can see it's Belle with the enchanted rose she's reading a book you have lumiere 
you have Mrs. Potts and Chip. So I also have this bag as well. So that rounds off all of my bags. I have 23 lounge fly backpacks. Um, and then I have some miscellaneous bags as well. And then I have some actual backpacks as well, but I'm not going to take them out of the closet and show you those. Um, but I hope you guys liked seeing this type of video. Let me know down in the comments below if you did. And if you have questions about a specific bag, let me know. And I will try to find a similar one and tag it. Yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.